Good Saturday morning. I hope you're doing well. Do you like lists? Like laundry list, we call them, like list to go to the grocery store. Some, you know, I, I don't particularly like lists, but sometimes my life gets so chaotic that I've got to have some lists. Uh, sometimes I go to the, the, uh, the supermarket for my wife. Well, I always have a list. I can't just walk around and remember everything. Well, uh, we're going to look at a list in the next few days. And uh, it's sort of a, a thing that we absolutely need. Simon Peter is saying, look, uh, God's done some wonderful things uh, for us. And so we need to do something in response to that. God's done his part. Now it's time for us to do our part. And so I want to read this beginning in verse 5 of Second Peter chapter 1. Because uh, we do participate with the Lord. He gives us the grace to be saved, the faith that it takes uh, and then we add something to that. So he says in verse 5, he said, Now for this very reason, because the power of God through the person of Christ and the promises that he gives us, gives us everything pertaining to life and godliness, but it's not a passive life. It's something that really needs to be done. He says, Now for this reason, applying all diligence in your faith, that is the faith that we have uh, exercised to trust in Jesus, supply moral excellence, and in moral excellence, knowledge, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, in your perseverance, godliness, and your godliness, brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, love. For if these qualities are yours and increasing, they neither they render you neither useless, useless nor unfruitful in the true knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So what's he talking about? Well, he said we need to make the maximum effort. Being diligent means to make the maximum effort. So God's made the maximum, maximum effort to save us, and we respond to that not by just taking it for granted and saying, well, I'm saved, everything is all right, but we begin to add through the power that God's given us and the presence of the Holy Spirit, we begin to add to our lives so that we can grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord. We, it, we need to know who we are in Christ. That's just so incredibly important, who we are in Christ, and knowing what he's promised to us and then how God's grace demands our best efforts. Do you always give your best to the Lord? Well, let's just say no. Uh, but it demands our best. God gave his best. He gave the treasure of heaven, Jesus Christ, to come and live and die on a cross for us. And then give us promises to say, I'm going to take care of you forever. Our response to this should be our very best. We'll look at this laundry list next week, but, but I think it's very important that we need to be active in our Christian lives to know the Lord and to serve the Lord and to know what he wants done in our lives and through our lives and to give our very best to that. Everything that Jesus is has now been given to us and we need to take that as resource and do our best to live in this crooked and perverse world that we have. And in doing our best, we'll find strength for every day. Do your best today by applying everything God's given you to every part of your life. And, and, and you'll do well no matter what comes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. And we thank you that in Jesus' name, you've given your best. So we give to you our best with our pledge today to live in the fullness of all that you've provided for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have a good week and you go to church tomorrow or look online. Uh, you can catch us on YouTube. We'll see you.